السلام عليكم جميعا في البداية أشكر غرفة أبو ظبي على تنظيم هذه الورشة وغرفة أبو ظبي دائما من الغرف التجارية الرائدة I don't know I think I I received a message from the the Chamber of Commerce that I need to be speaking in English. So, um, good morning, excellencies and uh, distinguished guests. I would like uh, to uh, highlight and uh, emphasize on a critical point in which the, in which that the Abu Dhabi Chamber of Commerce are the a pioneer chamber in the United Arab Emirates where they are always the number one arranging workshops for their business communities in terms of all the changes that uh, are uh, are within the ecosystem of the UAE economy that will benefit the businesses and that will improve the investment environment. Uh, a special welcome to His Excellency Mohammed Hlal Lemheri, uh, the Director General of the Chamber, and his both assistants, Their Excellency Abdullah Rikbesi and His Excellency Hlal Rikbesi. And I would like to um, thank uh, the uh, behind the scene team, uh, Zamzam Al Marzugi and her team. Without them, this workshop will uh, not be in place. So a special thank to uh, Zamzam and her team. Um, let's start our uh, workshop. I'm sure all the businesses are eager to know what's going on and what are the uh, changes in the um, uh, in the ecosystem and the legal system of the United Arab Emirates in terms of the economic uh, policies and laws. Um, the change is really so beneficial for the business. You will be astonished uh, when we will go through the benefits. Uh, but before we go uh, to the benefits, I would like to um, just give a, 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 some uh, main uh, numbers about the UAE economy. That is, um, uh, as you can see, the UAE economy is 70% uh, of our economy comes from uh, the uh, non-oil sector and 30% uh, of the economy comes from the oil sector. Uh, this uh, illustrates that uh, we are in the uh, diversification uh, um, uh, policy implementation. Uh, as you can see, this is the breakdown, wholesale and retail, manufacturing, construction, financial and insurance, uh, transportation, real estates and activities, public administration, electricity, gas, information technology, professionalism, uh, accommodation, uh, services, and others. Um, the post-COVID strategy that you will see in the upcoming slides, the reforms of the laws, will direct this uh, distribution to additional new sectors that has been evolved uh, post-COVID. Uh, of course, uh, all of you are aware, just as uh, would like to re-highlight that China is our number one non-IL foreign trade partner. India is the second largest, Saudi the, the, the third, USA, the fourth, Saudi, Iraq, Japan, Oman, Germany, and Kuwait. These are the top 10. Of course, uh, in 2015, and we are still uh, focusing on it, and these sectors are also sectors of priority in uh, the post COVID uh, strategic plan to attract investments renewable energy, transportation, education, health, uh, technology, water, as well as space. Our investment environment uh, proudly 
we would like to highlight that we improved from 27 in 2018 to 24 in 2019. So it's three year ranks in one year. This is because of the policy reforms that the country is undergoing as per the UNITAD report. And uh, we are still at the same rank. We are uh, ranked 19 globally in the outflow of uh, investments. I would like to highlight that um, after the uh, ministerial reform, we have uh, two strategies. One strategy focusing on the inflow and one strategy focusing on the outflow. So we have list of countries that we are focusing to attract inflow from list of sectors, as well as list of the outflow and inflow. In our session today, our focus will uh, be in the uh, inflow. Later on, if there is an interest in outflow, you can communicate with Zamzam and she can do the needful. Uh, this is uh, just a chart to show you the uh, top uh, 10 countries globally. But uh, I want you to see the, uh, the left hand side, United Arab Emirates is number one in the Middle East and North Africa region and number one in West Asian region. So these two charts illustrate that we are number one in both regions. Uh, of course, uh, our legal uh, system supports businesses. We have the anti-money laundering. Uh, no, we have the SME, trademarks, electronic uh, commerce and transaction, uh, golden visa permits, uh, uh, bouncing back checks, uh, protection of intellectual property rights. These are just examples, and there are a lot more that protect investments and businesses in the UAE. Uh, we are marked by stability, infrastructure, economic policies. Uh, uh, we enjoy domestic uh, political stability, good relation with the world, strategic hub, and an access to regional markets from the UAE, free, free transfer of profit, efficient systems, laws that we highlighted earlier in the earlier slide, Free zone clusters, clusters of free zones that are specialized in different uh, sectors of your business. Uh, low custom tariffs from zero to 5%, no income tax, uh, global aviation hub. And you know, you as businessman, you can bring your capital, you bring your cash, and you enjoy the sophisticated life of the United Arab Emirates and of the beautiful capital of Abu Dhabi. So uh, you have it all. Um, these are the top 10 features of overseas. I will not go through them because our focus actually on FDI inflow, as I said earlier. Golden visa. Um, Within, after the ministerial uh, reform in July 2020, um, there was a fall uh, and a mandate to His Excellency Dr. Uh, Thani al Azudi, Minister of State of Foreign Trade, to reform the uh, residency uh, for, um, um, program. And uh, their categories has been um, more, um, uh, we can say, easier to applicants. And uh, you, it's just um, 2 million and you can get the 10-year uh, visas. And we can also share the uh, cabinet degree and the details uh, to Zainab and she can say, sh share it across to the business community. And also, uh, we would like um, all the interested 
uh, businesses that would like to apply via Golden Visa uh, to, uh, we have an Excel sheet. Uh, we will send it to uh, Abu Dhabi Chamber of Commerce for the businesses where they can, um, there is an eligibility criteria. If they fall in this eligibility criteria, that has been, uh, as I said, uh, easier than before. They can fill this information in their uh, Excel, send it to uh, Zainab Al Marzugi, and she will liaison with us to accelerate the process of issuing the golden visa in coloration uh, and uh, cooperation with uh, ICA, which are the um, main owners of, of, of this project. Of, we are working uh, jointly actually with ICA on, on, on this project. Uh, we have 134 agreements signed end of 2020 on encouragement and protection of uh, investments, as well as 117 on double uh, taxation. Here, the bread and butter, and here what you are waiting for. But I said it's important to just before we go into this subject, just to give you a brief about our economy, some numbers, golden visa, and now to the features. You're thinking now, but you like uh, you think now, no investment low. Uh, it is much better. The reform, it is in the benefit of the business, the benefit of the investors, it's in the benefit of the country. It is aligned with the 2071. Um, if, we, if we think about it, uh, we think we learned from our leaders. Allah has a We learned that we create opportunities from pandemics. We never fail. UAE learns from pandemics. And uh, the first reform and the mega amazing reform for our economy is the amendments in the company's law that provides 100% ownership to most of the economic sectors. If we compare it to the prior law, prior law it was, you know, you had positive lists one after the other. You had it like 122 sectors. Maybe some of the sectors are within this 122 sectors. But like your business, you have four sectors in the 122 and two sectors as, uh, outside the 122. How can you, 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 you manage it? But now it's a totally different. You have the flexibility of full ownership of the economic sectors, except of the strategic impact activities. And trust me, I assure you, and we assure you, I, with the confirmation of our ministers, that this list will be very limited to sectors of an impact to the uh, country's security. And uh, there will be also a special process in case investors are interested in. So there is also potential in that. So full ownership, all legal forms of uh, businesses, the joint liability, simple uh, companies, limited liability, public joint stock companies, private joint stock companies, all forms of business uh, companies compared to before it was just limited to two. Possibility of ownership in sectors with strategic impact I highlighted earlier. Yes, we will have list of strategic impact activities, but if there is a very mega project, there is a, co a committee under the Minister of Economy, the investor can pass through the economic department of each emirate and pass through the Minister of Economy and they can look into it. We are in the country of, UAE is a country of the impossible. We are in the country of things, making things 
possible to the benefit of the economy, to the benefit of the people, to the benefit of the society, to the benefit of the sustainability of the environment. Our leaders looked at all angles. There is no sought after country like the United Arab Emirates. There is no uh, obligations for limited liability co company to be with the name of its uh, owner. So uh, it, you, you don't need uh, um, the, uh, the absence of the local service agent where you give them five and uh, ten, uh, five and ten percent, um, uh, I mean five or ten thousand in order to give them uh, to, to get the, the license. This is absent. You start your business with 100% ownership, uh, freedom of settling disputes, uh, absence of minimum capital requirement for limited liability companies. Um, you can call uh, your general assembly. Um, uh, of course, there's the other details. You, you extend the, pre the, the assembly to 21 days before it was only 15 days. These details, of course, the, 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 the legal people know about it. Um, uh, of course, uh, increase the capital in the public uh, shareholding uh, company within three years. Uh, requirements for a public joint stock company, um, approval, uh, absence of requirement for approval of security companies uh, and uh, commodities authorities. You just need the memorandum. This can help you. The legal, uh, your your legal lawyers can help you in all these uh, uh, details. Also, there is no limited a number of uh, shareholders in the private uh, joint stock company. You can restructure your company in light of uh, losses, and hopefully you will not have losses, your new AE. And uh, granting the actions, uh, you can add partner, you can transfer ownership, you can change legal form, you merge and acquisition and liquidation. Um, what I can say is that you are the owner of your company, 100% ownership. FDI strategy, um, I would like uh, to also uh, let you know what the Minister of Economy working on. Um, actually, this is the first time we have a, a very detailed, uh, focused strategy on sectorial. So uh, we are focusing on retail and commerce, agri-tech, healthcare, manufacturing, FinTech, logistic, entertainment, supply chain, space, medical and wellness tourism, ICT sector, renewable energy, and education. We would like to diversify our GDP and we would like to diversify our investments to these sectors. And these sectors evolved post COVID-19 and we are moving from a central uh, investment low to a decentralized uh, low. Ending it uh, as a business ranking, uh, we are number one in one, many of the indicators that is important to you like ease of electricity like building permits, we are number one in competitiveness. We are number one in the digital competitiveness, in the uh, agile of company, agility of companies. Uh, we are number one in the stability index, macroeconomic stability index, and this is what you need as companies actually. And uh, also, we are part of WTO, which is important uh, for you for, for the uh, businesses. And uh, again, I say that UAE is the sought after destination for your investments, and it is the time 
to start your investment and it is the time to expand your investment and also it is the time if you want to uh, also uh, expand it in merger and acquisition we at the minister of economy in collaboration with the abu dhabi chamber of commerce at your service and uh, thank you for your time and um, please uh, let us uh, know how we can uh, assist in helping uh, the business uh, community and i would like uh, to thank you all for your time and another special thank to abu dhabi chamber of commerce اخواني كل اللي كتبوا الاسئله بترد عليكم الوزاره بترشلكم اياها على الايميل شكرا لكم وفي الختام نشكر لكم مره ثانيه حضوركم على امل اللقاء بكم في مناسبات في مناسبات مقبله ان شاء الله والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته